Now we're gonna take a look at a lapel choke from Butterfly Guard. There are a couple of submissions from Butterfly Guard, but this one has proven to be really high percentage for me, and it leads to a lot of positive places even when I can't get the submission. The important thing is having good grips. When you get your good grip in there, you're gonna have so much success both with sweeps and submissions. That grip going in, make sure that you turn that wrist because we want that bony part of the forearm to cut off the blood. If you leave your hand turned like this and the orientation of your wrist is bent, you're not gonna have any luck with this. All right, so I find myself in butterfly guard and uh, you know, depending on what they do is gonna dictate what I do. But in the event that they stay postured right here, they're not exactly standing, maybe they wanna start looking at those folding passes, uh, you know, those are really common, all right? No problem, I need to put a hand in the cup. First thing, boom, right here, and you can see that I start to turn those knuckles. Cannot leave my wrist orientated with a bend in it. I need to straighten that and turn my wrist to the side of the neck, right here. Now, we're gonna set it up with low percentage. Very commonly, I'll reach across right here, across his face, just grab here, and I'll start to do this. And when he brings his hands up to start to defend is when I'm gonna grab that sleeve, all right? This is just a setup. You can use whatever setup you want, but this one is the one I like. Control that arm. I'm gonna pull it across the body right here. I'm gonna drop my shoulder over the top of his shoulder. Turn your body just a little bit, right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right here. You can see that I'm keeping my chest nice and tight, and I'm gonna to start to pull with that bottom hand. Now, this does not have to be a fast submission. Sometimes you're gonna get it, sometimes you're not, but we're gonna look at options for when you can't get this. If you get this, should be very easy. So I'm in here, nice and tight. Mm, oh, there, you tapped. Might take six, eight, 10 seconds. The important thing is that I'm not burning out my grip this way, so I'm keeping my shoulder dropped over the top of his shoulder. All right, this is the first step. If it doesn't work, that's okay. We got, we got other options. Again, same setup, right? So I'm in here, boom, I put that hand on the collar and immediately I come over here. You see, lifted his chin that time. He lifts his chin, cool, we actually get to choke him. Low percentage though, you're not gonna get this. Boom, catch that, and I'm gonna pull it over. If you have problems getting that, you can dip your elbow to the outside and then move your hips and then get your shoulder on the outside. And remember, the whole time, they're probably gonna be trying to rip their arm back, but as long as you get your shoulder to the outside, we're good. From here, I like to put pressure forward with my shoulder and I'm pulling in with that hand, okay? So that hand's in the collar, boom, I try to come over here and I pull that arm through. You can see that his arm's stuck through. You need to trap this arm in front of the body with your, with your chest and heavy pressure. If you're trying to squeeze this arm in, you can see that my back is angled towards the floor, you're never gonna get, yeah, he's gonna pull that arm out. We don't want that, I want my shoulder on top of his shoulder. You can see that there's good orientation with the wrist so that it's like this, out to the side and not like this. If there's a contour in the wrist, you're not gonna get this. So I'm in here, I turn those knuckles out, I'm dropping that shoulder and I get a good tap. Now, very common for me to get to this position and not be able to finish this. Totally normal. But you can see that my shoulder is forward, my chest is forward, and I've got a free hand. This hand isn't doing anything. Don't make space to do this. If I do this, he's gonna rip his arm out. Shoulder forward, I'm gonna put my hand on the floor and I'm gonna do a technical stand-up. My knee stayed in here by the hip so that I can lift my hips and you see how I never move my shoulder off. Is that tight? I finish right here. If you want, you can bring that hand in here this time because the angle on this arm has changed. He's not gonna be able to get that arm out and I can finish right here, all right? If this doesn't work, that's tap number two. I'm gonna knee tap this. I'm gonna drive my knee across right here. When I do that, you can see my chest stay tight. Again, control, tuck that elbow, and that orientation of that wrist is here. Don't do this trash, here. So I'm in here, boom, I put that hand on the collar. Mess him up here, ah! Pull that arm across, nice and tight. Hand on the floor, excuse me, tap number one. One, ah, I didn't get it, boom. Tap number two, I'm trying to come here, I didn't get it. Keep that shoulder tight, tuck that arm. I didn't get tap number two. Boom, I'm gonna tap that knee or the arm. Nice and tight with my chest. Control here and finish. Orientation of the wrist, don't miss it. This is that first angle again, but I wanna see all three taps from this angle, okay? So I'm here, boom, one in. I try to come here right across the face. Cool, catch. Move my hips out, there's number one. I didn't get number one, I'm up. Here comes number two, nice and tight. Remember, keep that shoulder. Remember, keep that shoulder tight. If you come here to make this space, you can rip that arm out and then you're not gonna be in as good of a place. Here, tight, two, tap or tap, send them over, 
Boom. Control three. Turn the bottom. Nice and tight. You not get swept that way. Don't get swept over like this. That's dumb. Okay. You feel your base getting checked? Let go and take the sweep. All right. You started in butterfly. Pop, pop. Up. As soon as they go down, if you maintain your position, you're going to get your, your two for your sweep. Did I say three? <laughs> two. Two for a sweep. All right. Uh, maintain that grip. One. Boom. Can't get it. Try to take that submission. Can't get it. Boom. Two. Try to take that one. Can't get that. Tap. Boom. Over top. Take, take three. Uh, oh, the third, third submission. If you can't get it, boom. Hand out. Take your two points. High, high, high percentage. I've had a lot of success with it. But again, it's a niche. If he's sitting in butterfly and he's not down yet, he's not committing into this space, maybe I've swept him with overhooks and he likes to keep some space. Boom. Hand in the collar. Anytime you can put the hand in the collar, we're in good shape. If you can't get that hand, right there. Sometimes they'll have those hands up over here. They'll do this, this right here, right over top. There's a wrist lock too, okay? Just uh, keep an eye open for it, pulling that arm across and the orientation of the wrist, super important. 